Hello and welcome to episode 18 of our Timberborn Update 5 Hard Mode Folktales playthrough here in cycle 27, day 16. Last time, we built this giant, I guess we can call this a chute, uh, water discharge directly from the source here, up at the top of the spiral. And it discharges, as the name might imply, water all the way down here, where it can join the flow through our industrial area and then out the map. So in so doing, we've created a couple of, uh, I guess, reservoirs here. We didn't uh, necessarily think uh, in advance that that would have created. So uh, since we're at the beginning, uh, third-ish of a drought, I'm not super worried about uh, not having enough water. But uh, the amount of pumping that's going on, and that's going to be going on, is going to necessitate having some extra water. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Let this all the way down, and then I'm going to let this all the way down as well. And there's tons up here. There's lots of water ready to go up here. Uh, this needs to be set to zero, zero, or else it's going to back up. But we'll just let this uh, come out as it wants to, and then uh, we might deploy this later on. Uh, if we decide we need to. But uh, the good thing about the way that we built this is there's going to be lots of water in reserve, especially in future cycles, uh, because of the topography of how this is set up. But this is going to let more water in. Should replenish our uh, area right here quite nicely, and we can move on with our lives. So one of the most common things that you guys said last time was, hey, you don't have a water tank here because you got rid of it. And yes, I did because I was going to replace it with a larger one and then forgot. So let's just really, really quickly go ahead and pop this back in. Uh, I believe, I believe is going to make sense for us to go ahead and just remove this path entirely and put the big one right here, set this to supply. And that's going to make it so that we can actually have these guys working in these pumps, supply the water. Uh, well, yeah, because we clicked supply uh, to the tank, and then this can then be dispersed uh, all over the rest of the map. So that should solve that problem once that's constructed. And there is plenty of other stuff you guys caught in the uh, in the comments, so we'll, we'll make our way through those as time goes by. Uh, let's see. Oh, it is it is certainly going slow. Well, we're on one time speed. We can go. We can go three times. But this will crawl its way all the way around until it joins our regular area right here. And then everything should be, should being the operative term, uh, should be okay. Had a couple people make comments about, hey, I'm worried about bad water getting caught. Uh, there's not really any reason for bad water to remain permanently caught anywhere here. Uh, because there's nowhere for it to pool. Unless it's in here, in which case it would just get flushed out anyway. So the idea is that I basically never open these unless I have to let water out. And I could automate them. I probably should. Will I? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Because <laughs> that's going to require a lot of thinking that I just, uh, frankly, don't have the capacity for right now. But uh, we can get this to flow in nicely. Uh, hey, look, they're having a uh, dancing party. Uh, but yeah, we can get this all taken care of, looking good to go, and so on and so forth. Another thing we did last time is we put this power shaft going all the way across here uh, with the hopes of putting in a new bad water processing district over here, which we kind of started, kind of, uh, getting some of this stuff set up. We are going to continue that. Uh, we just have to get through all of this crazy amount of uh, wheat we've been planting and harvesting, etc. And yes, I do see the dead blueberry in the middle. Somebody has to come gather the blueberries. Which we can do by uh, unpausing, not unpausing the path, unpausing the gatherer flag. He can't reach this. But somebody, somebody will come get the one berries sitting here. We don't actually have storage for berries, I don't think, because we haven't really been worrying about it that much. Actually, no, we do. We have a very small storage for berries, so that's something that our guys can get to work on. But one of the things I wanted to do last time when we didn't do uh, was put these Dutch windmills in here, but they haven't harvested the wheat because they haven't needed to harvest the wheat, so I guess that's uh, 
that's the update on that. that we're, uh, we're working on getting there. Again, the Dutch windmills being something to replace the grist mills and this large windmill here. Uh, eventually, we're going to have this all hooked up. In fact, uh, what I probably should have done, probably should have done, was uh, think this out a little, a little bit better. Right now, we're going to have to uh, bring this up here. Do I have a path to go all the way down? I don't. So let's go ahead and uh, get that situated. Uh, I'm going to utilize the vertical power shafts because I have the ability to uh, use those. Let's actually blow this up, make this nice and clean. Uh, I'm just going to have this because I can't think of any other way to do it that makes even a lick of sense. Just go up over the bridge. That's that's the only thing I can think of to do. Unless... Oh, you know what I can't do? I can't build over the bridge. Okay, so I've created a fun problem for myself then. Uh, that's going to be interesting to solve. Because this playthrough, I decided I didn't want to do heavily modded, so I've just got a few convenience ones like the vertical power shafts, uh, ladders, and the uh, the telemetry-based ones. So, oh, this needs to be raised. That absolutely should have had more water in there. Well, that's why we have this. Let the water out. <laughs> we'll just let this come all the way down. I know it's not going to overflow. Uh, this whole thing because we're pumping so much water out. But that should help us out quite a bit. Uh, we also have all of this power in the gravity batteries. I'm not worried about capacity. I'm worried about routing. Uh, so we're going to have to, the way this is set up, I'm going to have to have this routed uh, this way. Probably, uh, yeah, that's, that's, it's not going to be... Uh, not going to be very attractive looking, but hey, this isn't an aesthetic playthrough. It's not supposed to be, at least. So I guess now is going to be a, uh, a fun exercise in figuring it out, I guess, is the appropriate way to, uh, to say that. Well, I didn't need to blow this up, but now I'm going to anyway because I put the dynamite there. That's uh, fun. So I got to get the power from here to on the other side of the dam or the whatever floodgates. So it has to go up. I cannot tunnel. It has to either go over here, which we already established can't happen. Uh, this is going to get rid of the uh, wheat if we do that way, uh, which we honestly don't really need because we have so much wheat. We already have 1,500 loaves of bread. I don't think we need any more wheat. I think we're going to be fine. So I imagine what's going to happen is I will end up because I want I want the power to go over here too. Uh, probably. Yeah, kind of uh, kind of did myself dirty here. I'm not going to have a, an easy or attractive way of doing this unless I were to get rid of the suspension bridge and make this just a regular uh, platform going all the way across. Um, there's not really any reason to or not to do it that way. It's just already a bridge, and I didn't think we wanted to have too many ugly platforms. But this is already asymmetrical, so, you know, I, I kind of just want to get rid of it, honestly. kind of just want to be done with it and uh, move on with our lives. So guess what? That's what we're going to do. <laughs> I've already got my doubles here. Just have this go all the way across. Single here. And then... Uh, I will make, yeah, oh, I know, I know what I can do. I can do one of these kind of things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can have the power shaft go over this side. Oh, this is so scuffed, I think is what the kids say these days. Uh, but if I do that, then that can go doesn't look awful. It doesn't look great, but it also doesn't look awful. We can put our decorative roofing tiles here. I've got one by ones. I've got one by twos. I probably should uh, keep track of what I'm unlocking and not unlocking. But if I did two buys, I could do that, and I could put a statue in the center. That would look kind of weird, though. Um, ooh, bulletin poles. Okay. I forgot there's all this new folktale stuff we haven't really messed with. Uh, but I'll, I think I'll do the one by ones. 
and I will put one here and one here. That'll get everybody walking across the bridge at least twice. I don't know that that really matters, but it looks a little bit nicer. Kind of matches what's going on here. And this will allow the power to get onto the other side just fine. And then uh, we can decide how we want stuff to get laid out perhaps a bit later. Uh, somebody said in the comments that they'd like to see some of this area flattened out, maybe right here uh, for another housing complex. I think that's a nice idea. I don't know if I want to flatten the whole thing out, but uh, that would be a, a good spot to do that. I had thought previously about flattening this out to do additional oak planting, but I think our wood, wood situation uh, right now is looking fine, so I'm not going to be worried about that. Yeah, now I just have to get this power under control. I don't think that's going to be too terribly hard. We just have to uh, just have to think about how our stuff is working here. That should should solve our problems. Just having that built like so. That's already going across, and then I suppose. Yeah, they can still walk all underneath this. Get that there. I don't think we're going to have to have power over here, but if we wanted it, we could have it. Uh, the folktales don't have, outside of uh, the carousel and the mud bath, they don't have anything that requires power. Like the uh, Iron Teeth have so many more recreational things. So we could, in theory, uh, do some recreation stuff over here just because we have the power shaft. Although I'm personally more inclined to do something like that over here, especially if we build a housing complex in this area. So right now, I believe the idea is just to get power across here. And since we have so much stinking bread, let's um, let's just declare open season on this entire entire complex. Get this all blasted out. Uh, flatten this. Uh, at least this little bump right here. And I believe, yeah, if I have that set up, this is going to be doubles, this is going to be singles, and hopefully, hopefully, I can uh, get this to look a little bit nicer. Uh, I could, if I really wanted to, build this land up to match just kind of encircle this. There's Again, there's not really a reason to do it unless we wanted to hold more water, which, um, oh, you know what? Actually, that might be kind of nice. That would be on the whole uh, the whole level here. Well, we have dirt, so you know what they say. Actually, I should probably have that one go that way. That's not what they say. Uh, what they say is, well, I don't know. If I knew what they say, I would say it. Don't really know... Uh, where I was going with that, but I trust that you uh, don't think I'm completely insane. At least, not like that. Where are these guys going? Are they gonna? Are they gonna get stuck like that? That's gonna be really bad. Oh no! You know what's bad? You know what's bad is I forgot I put the double dynamite on this. They're not gonna be able to reach this. Oh well. Life happens. I'll just build another ladder. What are they gonna do? <laughs> Not really, uh, not really much of anything I can do about that. That's gonna be gone there. And now this is level. And once, oh, you stupid idiot! <laughs> oh, come on, man! I know your your name bearer in the uh, the beard boosters is gonna be very upset with you for making them look dumb. It's not their fault. It's the beaver's fault. Why would you? Mm. First of all, why is? Mm. Now I gotta blow this up so this beaver can get out of here. All right, come on. Get the rest of this out. Just oh, you better you better not be putting stop that. You stop that. There we go. Put the dynamite here so the beaver can escape, and then don't do that garbage again. I don't know why it builds these in the middle randomly. There's no reason it should do that. It's sequential in the order of <laughs> things that arrows touch arrows. Oh, boy. All right. Well, at the very least, that's done. Get out of here. Get out of here. 
Uh, so that's hopefully going to go a little bit uh, less stupidly. And then uh, what I would like to do over here, we can either expand our reservoir or we can create a uh, aquatic farming area for some other stuff. Like, for example, cattails would be perfect in an area like this with our power going over here. And I think that would probably be a smart thing for us to do. So what I will probably end up doing, since we still have dirt I want to use, and we will have dirt, uh, fill that in, and then we can build uh, things that utilize power up here, like the uh, grist mills that I've already gotten rid of. Uh, doesn't mean they're bad, it just means I didn't want them there. But we could make those occupy space up here. I can get... Uh, these things platformed across probably pretty easily. Oh, you know what? I bet I can, if we wanted to have this set up in a way that made sense. Well, if that's the case, then I'm probably the wrong person to call. But um, I digress. We're going to put this in like so. I think they can reach that. They should be able to. And then this will just come across like uh, the other side. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I really should have blasted that down so it looked nicer. Oh, well. Gonna choose not to let that uh, bother me too much. Now, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna spend the time and resources to do that. You know, I thought they would come get this. Alright. I guess I just have to manually clear. Manually clear that. Because uh, somebody in the comments was emphatic about uh, fixing that, so now it's fixed. I really thought that would have been automated nicely, but it was not to be. Alright, so see, that makes sense for them to do it in order. I don't know why it got out of order like that, but uh, I digress. Oh, this is extra. This is, uh, hold on, wrong fingers on the wrong buttons. This can be blasted down for no other reason than uh, blasting. Sometimes you just uh, got a blast. All right, so this, once this is in place, I'll blow that up. I'll put the triple in, and then we'll uh, we'll be able to move on with our lives. I don't know. I don't think they can get to this yet. No, they can't. We'll just have to do this in order that it wants us to do it. Why are they not? Ah, it's too far away. Okay. Now is it too far away? Uh, it appears so. Now is it too far away? No, it's not. Hopefully they don't uh, get any more beavers caught there. Well, while we're waiting on that science fair to happen, uh, somebody said, hey, you should build an observatory. And a bunch of you said, hey, you have no more science production. Well, well, well. Oh, you know what? I used my science that I could have unlocked the observatory with. So we're going to... Wow, there's a lot of beavers dying of old age at once. Uh, we're going to get back to the grind with our inventors. So I think I just have to kind of find a place for these guys to uh, hole up and do some science. Whatever, whatever that means. So I think uh, easiest... The fastest way to do it is just going to be to brute force it with eight of these guys here and start making science. But I do want to put an observatory up here on the top of the hill. I don't know why I always want to put observatories on tops of hills, but I do. I think it's fun. I think it looks nice. So uh, we have the option. We can place uh, without actually building, decide where we want to put it. We could uh, reconfigure this slightly because, of course, this building, it's not electricity, but it... it transfers power so we could put it on the uh, the edge here we could put it up at the top here uh, i really want to put one here because that's like isolated so no light pollution but um it's also no power out there so i i think it makes the most sense to put up here we would just have to have a uh, path to get to it and the way this is currently built is not really conducive to that but that is on the list for things to take care of in this episode. We will see if we are able to get there. But that is a fun thing. Also, 
Uh, well, I don't call these shaming wheels, but I guess you guys do because RCE. Uh, for some reason, the power wheel's here. I should have gotten rid of this a long time ago, but guess what? Now it's not. So that solves that problem. Now we just have to uh, get the rest of this figured back out. So now that we have these guys all working, our uh, unemployment problem seems to mostly be solved. Uh, of course, it's not perfectly solved yet, but we are making progress as best we can. Well, something to that effect. All right, so this is now ready to blast. That's done. So now this is the same height as over here. I really am not a fan of this. I This is just bad design. Uh, this also needs to be uh, removed and fixed. We got wheat storage. We got so much bread, it's unbelievable. So, yeah, I, I really just want to completely redo this entire thing, but we can't cut off... Oh, wait, no, this still is connected. It's just kind of uh, suboptimal. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip all this out, this whole thing out, and then uh, we're just going to make this go all the way straight, because that will be a straight shot into this. Oh, this one's actually uh, paused when we uh, get to that point, but we will figure that out uh, when we figure it out. Let's get that put back in. I just have to have somewhere else to put the red... Uh, it's not like we really are dying to have that much bread. And the amount of food that we're already growing is not, uh, not giving me a whole lot of, uh, anxiety. So why don't we just go ahead, put the bread right there. I already have tons of storage for grilled potatoes. I already have a huge maple pastries thing, um... We already have tons of carrots. Let's just do the bread and the carrots right here. We already have potatoes elsewhere. Just have to give them somewhere to go. And then we can get rid of all of this. Now, I'm hoping... I'm hoping it doesn't kill all the rest of the rubble. It shouldn't. There's no reason why it should do that. But sometimes... Sometimes I just don't think and things go poorly so I would like to not be completely stupid with how I have stuff uh, done here. So this really doesn't need to be blown up but I probably will anyway uh, for the purpose of having a uniform depth and uh, making it possible for us to take care of everything here. So that's going to get blown up that's going to get blown up. Uh, that's going to get blown up. This is going to get double blown up because it's two blocks high. Triple. I'm going to make uh, this, I believe, it would be smart to just have this be completely straight across just to take care of how, uh, how this is all set up here. I get the path selected and not the stuff that goes on top of it. Platform will take care of that. Take care of that. Just have this go all the way out to here. Uh, we have tons of bad water. I just am aggressively unconcerned about the storage of bad water. So that can solve that problem. This will go all the way across. Uh, and then to get down here, we're going to have to have... Oh, you know, I really should have just had them come down on uh, ladders or something. Oh, well, we'll get it figured out. Just build that, and then we'll uh, we'll let them put all this in, and then we'll, we'll blow it up. But again, the idea is to straighten this out, make this a little bit larger to hold a little bit more water, a little bit more consistent in design, and then uh, solve all of those problems at once. All right, so now that that's a thing... This can uh, get built, and then they can put the power shaft on. Uh, this is now, I guess, ready for completion there. And what I'm going to do, I believe, believe would make the most sense, is just get rid of this as well. And expand our reservoir as much as we want. Or, 
I can raise the floor over here. Put in a dam here instead of this blockage. And uh, just have this be filled with water for the purposes of growing uh, cattails. But if that's going to be the case, I don't want to put dams around it. Because then I'll just have to constantly top it off. Yeah, so... Not, uh... Not exactly my finest moments. Oh, this is almost dry. Uh-oh. Well, we have five and a half days left. Alright, that's because I let the water reserves get super low, but I, uh... Yeah, let's stop pumping this. Because I don't think it can, uh... I don't think it can evaporate in five and a half days. Oh no, that's absolutely evaporating in five and a half days. You can see the water go down. Okay. Well... Oh, that's a deep subject. I don't like where this is going. Oh well. You uh, you play with the bull, you get the horns. That's always how, uh, how that tends to go. So, these guys are going over here to build this. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, power comes across here, and then we can put in... Uh, I'm imagining... I, I can just do grist mills uh, like so, something like that. I know I have I have this all uh, set to blow up, but probably we'll just end up covering this with uh, industrial stuff anyway. So we can maintain our path all the way across here. Yeah, I could put two there and then have uh, space on the end. I think that's going to be the best way to do it. This is already, uh, already uh, looking like something, I guess. Just got to get these guys in here to put this dynamite in place. Why do I only have... Why do I only have six units of maple syrup? Are we not... Uh, are we not harvesting? Or have we just used a lot of it to make... Um, yeah, maple pastries. Uh, chestnuts. Do we have... We have 119 roasted chestnuts. Grilled chest... Whatever. I'm, I always want to call them roasted chestnuts because... The... Cultural imperialism of Christmas music is all pervasive. That's probably not the uh, most joyful way to say that. But uh, anyway, I digress. We have uh, a little bit of a problem with our maple syrup. We need to have more maple syrup production is what it uh, what it boils down to. Get it? Boils. Because you, when you make it. Anyway. If I say I digress again, I'm pretty sure someone's going to jump through my monitor and strangle me. So let's not do that. Um, Do you think I ask the person who won't be able to reply to this for at least 15 hours? Uh, unless you're a beard booster, in which case you can reply in only two or three. But uh, by the time anyone hears this, it's not going to matter. Do we think I could actually put dirt in on the outside here? Why did I build two... I don't. I didn't need ter, two dirt excavators. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to expand this out one tile each direction and plant some more trees. Do I have any evidence that this is actually the correct thing to do? I do not. Should I logically expect this to be a perfect solution? No, I should not. Will I do it anyway? Yes. And by uh, one, I mean two. I think that should... Uh, hopefully... Oh, look at these guys. Look at these guys going to work. They're going to put all that dirt in there. And then I can plant some more trees with the... Uh, <laughs> with the forester that's not here. Okay, well, I'm trying, and that's what matters. Okay, now this is now this is drying up. Oh well, at least we have water. That's uh, that's looking good. All right, uh, is this ready to go? I believe it is. Please don't step on that and die. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't put this on here. I thought I had covered that one. Well, they can still get to it. No big deal. All right, so that's looking good. That was a beautiful, glorious, fantastic sound. Um, 
there's no reason to keep this ladder here, but uh, I kind of like the idea of having access to the bottom of this should I ever need it. Um, let's take a look at our... Oh, no way. That's so busted. Can I actually get away with that? Putting... Oh, wow. I should have done that more. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Ah, that's why it's busted. Okay. And when I say busted, I mean um, not actually broken, but in a, uh, a figurative sense of I can't believe I'm allowed to do this. So, um, yeah, that rules. That is that's such a cool exploit. I don't know. I kind I kind of love it a lot. So let's um, <laughs> oh, let's have let's have some fun with that, shall we? Uh, I'm going to blow this up and uh, that platform gone as well. Uh, the idea being that uh, when I have this appropriately finished, then this will just be a uh, path left and right all the way across here. And then we can have all this stuff figured out quite nicely. That's going to look cool if, uh, if nothing else. And I think that's going to be fun. So, oh man, that is... That's exciting stuff. That is... <laughs> it's kind of kind of sad that I get excited about this, but I digress. How many times am I going to say that until I'm dead? Um, let's... Yeah, let's... Um, let's make ourselves an area for growing cattails. I think over here would be uh, a fine choice. So what we will do... We will seal this up. And then instead of a dam, I think I will do a floodgate because that can go all the way up and this can get filled up and then uh, hopefully maintain itself. And this is going to be a big enough area if we can, well, I mean, we're not going to run out of dirt because we have a ton of dirt. We just have to have enough beavers to be able to build things. Oh, I really hope these fools don't get stuck in here. All right, I'm going to have to pause those two so we don't have uh, stupid beavers doing stupid things. But yes, this is going to be removed here. These, these right here, um, blockages are going to be gone as well. And then uh, we will expand this all the way out. I'm just kind of inventing ways to play with dirt, aren't I? I... Uh, I think that's what's happening here. But that will go quite nicely like that, I believe. This can actually be... Well, I guess I only need one one way to get through. Uh, do I want to do I want to do it that way? I, you have no idea what I'm what I'm asking because I haven't uh, I haven't talked about how I'm getting across this, but. I like the idea of this being a continuous a continuous path here, which means I could not use a floodgate. I would have to have it be on a platform. But if I did that, there would be no barrier, which means I would have to have a second layer here, which I was attempting to avoid. But would not be the uh, worst thing ever. I'm not gonna lose I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Let's just do, yeah, let's just do this, and then I will put the floodgate here, and then this can just be a platform. We can have this go all the way across like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the farmhouse. No. Oh, yeah, no, I, I still can move the farmhouse without, without this being dumb, because as soon as this bridge is in place, this can go away. Um, I, oh, I guess, I guess they're still waiting on that. Uh, gotta fill this in. If it feels like we're jumping around between things, it's because we are. It's kind of a suboptimal way to do this, but, uh, eventually it will all get done and we will be, uh, all the better for it. So that's, uh, triples there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do, gonna have to do this one way or another. All right, I've created some extra space for maples. Um, it might not look like much, but that is a rather sizable addition relative to the current size of this thing. So 
Uh, maple syrup tank is going to go away, and in its place is going to go a forester, so we can plant all of these maple trees. And in addition to that, uh, these pine trees here uh, are going to... Where's my... Oh, we have so much pine resin. We're not going to need that. Uh, I'm going to cut down. Don't cut down the trees. That's a bad idea. I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, let's cut down these guys. And then these two rows of pines. And I don't have a lumberjack. Now I, now I have a lumberjack. Uh, this guy will cut down these two rows of pines, replace them with maples. Uh, then we'll put more maples here, and then I will refill these because uh, these were getting the bad water juice, uh, killing them. So that should solve that problem. How are things going over here in science experiment land? Um, okay, I guess I can't set this off if they're over here un-removing the blockages. I always want to call them barriers, but that's not what it is. And this now connects. So, well, I guess I keep moving the goalposts for myself. But uh, I want to have this finished out. Then I can get rid of this. Then I can move the farmhouse to here. I'll move it one down, one over, and then have the path wrap around and rotate the farmhouse 180 degrees. I think that's going to make hopefully the most sense. I would imagine. Oh, we have 2300 science now. That means I can unlock the uh, observatory that I was so keen on building up until I got distracted by the uh, the fun explodey things over there. So I don't like this. This is ugly. It's um, not, not ideal. So what we're going to do is once the water comes in and is rotating uh, the water wheels, I'm going to remove all of this and I'm going to bury it. I'm going to move it down one block and then uh, cover on top of it with stuff. There's cycle 28 with that uh, drought ended. So that, I believe, once the water comes through, which, by the way, should be substantially faster. Let's watch it. I guess this is, uh, well, it's not the first, first usage of this, but it should be the first full cycle usage. Water is good, friends. Drink water. It's good for you. It's uh, the quenchiest. All right. Is this coming up? Looks like it is. Uh, this is set to uh, 0 0.5. I don't need to raise it because it's probably not going to get that high anyway since it's flowing out here. Might have a little bit of backflow. I believe that should be fine. Look how much faster that is than doing it the other way. Yeah, that's what we want to see. Uh, some people have said that the bad water is stronger. I don't know that that's true or not. Uh, but they expressed concern that maybe this would back up and flood uh, over here based on how this is set up. Uh, again, I don't really think that's going to be a problem. Uh, if it does become a problem, then I guess we'll get there when we get there. But uh, remember, these floodgates are here. They're supposed to be up all the way. This one wasn't. But I don't believe this will flood just because this is a seven block wide uh, river here. Artificial river we've created. It shouldn't crest over the top here because again, it's the same, same space for the same volume of water. I don't think we're going to have any pinch points whatever, but now we're generating power there. Uh, so let's demolish all of this. And uh, yeah, oh, you know what? I, <laughs> uh, it would be so funny if I just made this trench even wider, but we don't need to because we're never going to need more than these uh, more than these gravity batteries. So what we will do, I don't have, uh, do I have universal? I do. Yeah, I just need this to go down. Yeah, I'll just do this one. Just do this one like this. That'll be fine. Not the most ideal scenario, but uh, we will make it work. Uh, the main goal here, of course, is to get up here and have 
a fabulous observatory on top of the hill, uh, like scientists enjoy, or we could claim that beaver scientists enjoy. Put that guy there, and then, you know I always love to make these uh, kind of blend in with uh, how stuff is set up here. I don't really... Uh... Yeah, they can have a long walk to work. Who cares? They're doing the fun work with science. That might not have been the smartest thing I've ever done. Um, <laughs> cutting things off like that. But this can go that way. That can go that way. And then uh, this can go underneath. Uh, that's going to have to be a universal. That's going to have to go like that. And then this way like so. Oh, you know what? Ha ha ha. I have the ability to do this this way if I so choose. And I guess I do so have to choose. Yes, there we go. This will get pathed over on top. This tree will be removed because I don't care to sit there and chop it. And then these guys go up here. And then we have to get... Oh... Oh, I just thought about... Well, no matter. I will just run this as a universal shaft. And then I will have to uh, have this come out the backside. Um, there's no reason for me to want to hide this, but uh, I had the fun idea of just doing that anyway because we can. What's... Uh, Man, Portal's such a great game, but what's the, the song at the end? We do what we must because we can. I always thought it was kind of clever writing. That really has nothing to do with any of this. Um, oh, this is going to flood, by the way. Let's, <laughs> uh, let's, let's open that real quick. And um, <laughs> let's avert a catastrophe once again. Um, me not paying attention. It's going to cause issues here, uh, but I will get rid of that, that, blow this up. Oh, no, 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 this is going to flood, absolutely. All right, so uh, <laughs> raise that up. That solves that problem. Let's, um... oh, you know what, you know what, I made a mistake, but I can fix it. This is a double, yes. And that's a triple. There we go. That's going to fix it. Look how cool these... I love these uh, 4x1 suspension bridges with the little yellow uh, paint or whatever that is on them. Uh, but these guys now get rid of that. So we got to fill this in. I don't think we need to have so many staircases. That's just uh, what ended up going in here. We are going to redo this. We're going to flatten this out a little bit, and then I'm going to put large tanks. In theory, if I have thought about this correctly, which is entirely possible, I have not. I don't know. Point being, we're gonna we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make stuff actually work. So that is. Uh, looks like that's all hooked up. Yep, sure is. So they can build their stairs, and then I just have to route power out the back. I just, for whatever reason, I just don't like the power uh, coming up through the ground. I feel like it looks tacky. It really shouldn't. It really shouldn't. But, uh, for whatever reason, that's just how I feel. So that's going to go... Down one, down one. This will go all the way down. And then we'll just hide this behind. I'm, there's no rule that says that I have to do this. But if I'm looking from this direction and I don't see ugly power shafts going up here, then I feel like that's going to be a worthwhile expenditure of my time, whether or not it actually is. 
uh, I suppose, remains to be seen. But, uh, can they even get back here? I don't think they can. Well, we'll get it, we'll get it figured out. They have access to everything else. Okay, so that's going to be... Oh, I should have gone down one more. Should have gone down one more. Or I actually should have just gone all the way through the side of the hill with this. Yeah, that's probably what I should have done. Oh well. We'll live. Doing stupid things for fun is part of the charm of playing this game. So, uh, that being said... Ah, yes. A bad tide approaches. Well. We may, uh... We may find out just how good our stuff is, uh, is set up here. Because I was going to, going to try and, uh, get this set up in a way that was going to prevent these other trees from dying. I don't know. All oh, these, you know what? I, uh... I did something dumb, and I replanted the pine trees because I told them to cut them down, but I didn't change the, the type of tree that was supposed to be. <sighs> yep. Well, the good news is, when the bad water comes, it's not going to go through here, not going to go through here, not going to go through here. It's just going to come out and then uh, go down these floodgates when this trips, and then not go down these floodgates when that trips. So we'll have the extra spill over here, and then it'll come through here. It should not kill these trees. I don't believe it will kill these trees, because there's going to be uh, a good amount of nice water here that can't, uh, can't be infected too badly. I wanted this to be all set up, all ready to go, and perfect, and everything, and I... Uh, very obviously have not uh, made that a viable viable thing here. But um, we will have cattails growing here at some point, I believe. If I were smarter with this, then I could have... Uh, yeah, let's get that uh, situated. I'm going to go ahead and... They've already got rid of that. All right. Is this triple? It is. Just blow that up and then we will turn this efficient farmhouse around like a angry dad on a road trip. We'll turn this van around. Well, we're going to turn the farmhouse around and hopefully no one's angry about not being able to go to Wally World or whatever. That's a good movie. Um, But yes, I digress massively. We have under two days left until the bad tide begins. Uh, that is probably where we will end this episode. Just to have a nice uh, dividing point. So we can take this out of triple speed. No need to rush. I just want to make sure that we're uh, getting some of our stuff set up in a way that uh, is going to work out nicely. Yes, even the insanely complicated why did you do this? Uh, powering uh, solution that we've got going on here. And I, I should probably stop uh, bringing up completely irrelevant quotes, but uh, you know, JFK talking about going to the moon. Don't do it because it's easy. Do it because it's hard. And I guess that now includes... Uh, playing the Beaver City Builder game. Don't do it because it's easy, do it because it's hard. This is hard mode, after all, right? Can have a little bit of fun in hard mode. Nobody said you couldn't uh, couldn't challenge yourself. Uh, I will uh, I will have to, uh, I think, be a little bit more careful of how I have this stuff set up. But uh, we'll make it work. I give these guys plenty of stuff to think about. Take care of that. Um, 
all else equal, I mean, we are making good progress. We just get a little teensy bit distracted sometimes. And by a little teensy bit, I mean incredibly, unbelievably, completely sidetracked in catastrophic ways that nobody understands how it's even possible for me to make that kind of a, a, a dumb error. But that's part of the fun. If you wanted to watch someone who actually knew what they were doing, you wouldn't be watching these videos. <laughs> let's, let's just put it that way. There are plenty of people who are much, much better at the game than I am. But I'm glad that you choose to uh, to spend some time with me anyway. I really, I really mean it. I shouldn't have deleted that. I really should not have deleted that. No. Oh, why did I do that? Yep, see, it, <laughs> this is exactly this is exactly what I was talking about. Me me just doing just random garbage because that's the way my brain decided to work. <sighs> oh well. So that's gonna get blown up. I, I had my uh, rotation on my building wrong. This is gonna get blown up. We're gonna put a ladder here to go down to plant stuff. And then this entire thing here is going to get um, going to get leveled out, and then we're going to have to have a border around this. This is definitely not getting done in this episode, but uh, just so we're clear, and so you can remind me if I forget, uh, I'm going to have this whole thing be a uh, an aquatic farm. It might honestly, honestly, might even just replace this. I might just completely uh, blow this up and uh, move all of that over here. Because we haven't even, uh, we haven't even finished. I, I said I was gonna do all this stuff, and I always, I always get distracted. I always, always get distracted doing this. So, uh, apologies. But that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Again, there's plenty of people who, <laughs> plenty of people who are better at this game than I am. Just, uh, just gonna put that out there. But uh, this is going to let me put two grist mills right here. Uh, of course, we have to put the power shaft in place first. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, deprioritize that. That should be... Uh... Wait, I never planted more potatoes up here. Okay, well, we'll fix that too. Now I got potatoes. Now I got potatoes. So there's all this stuff for them to get through. I guess I can go ahead and triple speed it. I work through the last day here. Oh, and I got uh, I got carrots I can plant over here too. Wow, look at all this fun stuff that we discover when we uh, we remember that we've forgotten something. How's that for a uh, a brain bender? Remember that you forgot. How how many times would you like to remember that you forgot something? But I guess at that point you wouldn't have forgotten it. So uh, just to recap, things that we've done from the list of things you guys said uh, you wanted me to focus on last episode. Uh, the water tank near the uh, water pumps, added that. Uh, I did not add more hauling posts because we did not have extra beavers. I guess we technically do. We didn't have a glut of them because I put all of those uh, inventors in. Um we took a look at water flow briefly. I, I, I'm really not that concerned about it. I guess we'll find out when the bad water comes at the beginning of the uh, the bad tide, if I am right or wrong. Uh, we added the observatory. It's not connected yet. We will wrap that up before we say goodbye today. Um, I fixed the random dead thing near the wheat. Um, I think the comment said it was a dandelion. It was actually a berry bush, but that doesn't matter. And then I got rid of the shaming wheel. So, that's fun. We we have actually accomplished something here. Uh, aquatic Farmhouse is going to get a ladder right there. And uh, this is going to have a pretty sizable range. So we could... I, I'm not going to build it all the way out here, but we could, in theory, uh, as we continue going about our business, expand our aquatic farm. But again, that's going to be a next episode thing uh, just because of how this is set up. Um, but bad water, I'm very curious to see how it comes in here. 
If it is in fact stronger, I have no reason to believe it would be because it's only coming out of the same uh, source blocks. I don't think the strength changes. The bad water sources themselves are often set at a, um, a higher strength. I will give you that. But now let's see. Oh, that sound is so loud. My headphones at least. Uh, 16 day bad tide. Um, I don't see a higher water level. So I think we're okay on that. Uh, this is all set appropriately. Those gates have shut. These should also shut. Let me go ahead and... Yes, I know this is not automated. I'm sorry, it's just never going to happen. It's it's just not, not going to work. <laughs> so that's shut. This is shunting. Everything is beautiful. We're going out here. Uh, no problems detected whatsoever. Everything is fine. Yeah, uh, I think we are going to be okay. So, oh, these are all built. Good. We'll put these last couple of pieces in, and our observatory will be... Why is that not... Okay. It's not built because they can't get to it. It's built because they haven't built it yet. So that's a good, uh, a good thing here. We have not killed any additional trees. We are going to plant the additional maple trees. Get those planted, and then uh, we do need to make sure that we replace this with a tank for the, uh, oh, they haven't even gotten any of the syrup out, but we'll replace this with the tank for maple syrup. Everything is going to be A-OK, -okay, friends. We are looking good. We are looking uh, better, at least. Uh, the one last thing that goes here. I'm actually going to super prioritize that so we can actually finish it. Uh, this guy is going to have his help I have nothing to do thing up here just a little while longer because we're going to have to go in and uh, take care of some of the rest of that. But he can at least have access to the door so we can sit there and complain about having nothing to do instead of complaining about not being able to get to work and not having anything to do. So that will solve that problem. Uh, we can, if we elect to uh, remove this strip of dirt, I, I, I don't really think it's going to be that big of a deal. I think it's fine. Um, are you satisfied with this solution for getting power across the dam? Let me know in the comments. Uh, it's not the most beautiful thing I've ever made, but it is, uh, serviceable. I still do have to put some sort of decoration here or, uh, what have you. Uh, but these guys are both working now, including the, uh, gatherer flag. Um, well, you know, this might have actually been the thing, uh, the commenter was talking about, but, um... The healthy dandelions will uh, grow over those, but just to say that I took care of it, I will mark those for demolition. I know I could have built a path, but it's fun sometimes just to make them do stuff for no other reason than to do it. Look at look at this mess. We got beavers coming all over the place trying to put stuff down here. Got our potatoes planted. Um, observatory is still not hooked up because there's one last piece that I didn't want to put in until the very end. But that'll get these scientists moving and shaking up here, observing whatever they can observe from a clockwork observatory and a post-apocalyptic beaver landscape. But, you know, I always like it when it's on top of a hill like this. I think it's just fun. So they can enjoy that. Uh, everything else is looking great. Looking really, really good. Um, I realize we still have not built uh, stuff to make bread. And yes, I see that we have 172 loaves of bread. We will fix that as we continue moving on. The very last things that we will put in today. You know, I'm going to flip this just because I can. Because the game lets me do it. Uh, we are grist milling away with our grist mills to do grist mill things with... Uh, wheat flour, one of these will probably do cattail flour at some point in the future, but that is all set, ready to go. I can put some bakeries here and here. Actually, actually, I will put, um, oh, the T key, in case you were curious, it does not rotate. That is the R key's job. Actually, no, I'm going to rotate this again. 
I'm gonna put this big old thing here for wheat flour, and then both of these will make bread for right now. And now this is organized a little bit nicer, uh, storage-wise. Probably still uh, are fine to have this uh, connect over here for the bread. They can just walk around. It's not going to hurt anybody to have to do that. Uh, and I believe this uh, double floodgate is going to be better served as just a dam piece. Uh, I do want to isolate these so that these pumps can't suck this out. But um, if this is a dam piece, then the low stick can never get relative between these two is uh, 0.667 of a uh, tile high. Which, you know what? You know what? Before I forget. Just before I forget, we will do that and put that there. That looks nice enough. And what that's going to allow us to do is come in here and do one of these, if for no other reason than to have another path coming through here just to have one. I don't know. We didn't have to do it that way, but I decided that would be a fun thing to do. Anyway, uh, now it is already over an hour long, and I was thinking of ending the video 10 minutes ago. You know how this goes, but that's it. I appreciate you. I'm glad that we get to spend this time together playing the fun game that we do and enjoying each other's company. So again, big thanks to you for your support and beard boosters as well. If you are a beard booster and also yourself, I know that's a brain bender right there, then double congratulations, double thanks to you uh, for your support. I think clearly it is time for me to get some sleep, but uh, I really appreciate you uh, regardless of whether you're part of that group or not. Uh, but those folks do make it possible for me to do this. So again, just want to make sure we recognize them. We have some more fun stuff coming tomorrow in the Water Beaver playthrough as we get into the crazy in-game stuff in that playthrough. Uh, that will be over soon, though, and then we'll be starting Water Beavers again in Update 5, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, that would be a fun chance for you guys to hop back on uh, if you dropped that playthrough or you wanted to uh, catch it anew when we started over. So we'll see what else is on tap. I've got a bunch of games I want to get to. Got lots of new stuff people have been trying to get me to get uh, on the channel, uh, developers and uh, players alike making some nice suggestions so we'll have some of that start rolling out in the next couple of weeks and i can't wait to see you into the next one whatever it is you're doing stay safe have fun and we'll see you later Bye bye